How often do you get to recycle your scripts during a work shift? I have, for many years, we did three updates an hour every 20 minutes. We've since gone to every 15, though the 15 and 45 are less constructed, really don't need a script per se. Um, but just for sake of argument, uh, when I did every uh, three per hour, I would write four scripts. And I found that handy because uh, that meant, let's just say one o'clock was your first update, the 120, the 140, and the two o'clock, that's four scripts. So when you're editing the first one you wrote at one, now that's airing at 220. So I found it was a different day part. A lot of people tend to listen perhaps just the top of the hour or a station may only run a top of the hour uh, sports cat. They may not take them all. So I found four scripts was uh, good for a six hour shift to rotate. They're never the same. It's just I'll take the basic structure of that first script and edit it and do the same for script two, script three, script four for an entire shift. And how many rewrites do you think that you do in a shift? Um, well, if I have four original scripts, I found most times I'm doing 18 updates. So I have 14 rewrites. My shift is a little odd in that um, I'm coming into nighttime games where it's almost impossible to completely script uh, your sports cast while games are going on. I find I'm going half script, half ad lib. So that just the ad lib portion is going to make it sound like it's a fresh script. You're a little bit more of a high wire act when you're ad libbing, uh, but when you're handling 10, 15, 20, and sometimes when seasons are crossing over more than 30 games at once, um, you really have to be able to ad lib um, a good portion of your sports update. How do you train for ad libbing or how do you expand you know, your vocabulary and your knowledge enough to be able to handle ad-libbing that much. Yeah, that's, that's the ultimate test is not sounding the same every time. I find when uh, I probably, I joke, I've never actually counted, but I probably use the same 80 words over and over for 13 years at ESPN. Um, you know, there's different ways to say win and lose and tie um, you know, or giving a standings, you know, the three games up, three games clear. You know, there's always different ways you come up with. I listen to other people who do updates. I'm like, oh, I kind of like the way they use that word, and I'll incorporate it. Um, the toughest thing about the ad lib is not having something written down to go by. I usually um, I keep a set of, you know, the blue cards. And it's an industry standard, you know, uh, blue index cards, and I will write down Every, every game that's going on that night in ink, and then while the games are going on, all my notations are in pencil, so I can erase, rewrite until the game is over, and then I'll put all my, um, my factoids or hero lines in ink, um, and then there's a highlighter system. It's, if someone looked at it, it's very bizarre and probably would wonder how I could actually uh, pull off a sports cast, but I actually find that interesting is to find out all the different little systems people use uh, to be able to ad-lib and not make a mistake. 